Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub Sir, and I am currently in the tub with Caveman Warriors. Now, Caveman Warriors was released on the 22nd of September 2017 and is currently priced at £10.99. However, there is a 15% discount that brings it down to £9.34 and that runs until the 29th of September 2017. Okay, so it's developed by a studio based in Barcelona, I believe, by Jandu Soft SL. And I think this may be their debut game. Caveman Warriors is a co-op platformer, and it's got quite the inspirations behind it. It's inspired by games such as Metal Slug, um, New Super Mario, even Trine. So it's quite alluring to say the least. It's a co-op game of up to four players, but seeing as I'm devastatingly lonely, I'll be playing this on my own today. So let's jump straight in and see what Caveman Warriors has to offer. Um, there is comics, that sounds kind of interesting, but we have none of them, they must be the collectibles. Okay, let's uh, let's play. Hopefully it plays just as well on your own as it would do with friends. Oh cool, okay, so we can play <gasps> Jack, Brienne, Mo, Liliana, and Jack. Okay, I may sound a little bit taken aback there because uh, Jack is in fact my nickname. Now obviously my Christian name is Bathtub Sir, but I do get um, referred to as Jack quite a bit, so I guess we have to play as him. And I have no friends, so player two will have to remain sort of pending there. First contact. Alright, fine. I do get sort of a um, Metal Slug. <laughs> Metal Slug, like, harkenings, literally from that character select screen. But chapter one. So what's going on here? An alien has crashed down to Earth. Oh, and that would be the first contact. Maybe it didn't even crash, it just landed. No, it's not going to steal the babies, is it? It did! Oh, no. Alright, well, we can't have that. So this is me, this is Jack. Let's have a look. Press LB or RB to change character. Oh cool, so you're not stuck as one character anyway. And look, if you look in the top left, there is different health on these dudes. Cool. Can we eat the food? Right, so X is to... Oh, B, B's jump. A's also jump. B's like a special jump. Can we run into this cave? <laughs> there we go, our first battery. I'm not quite sure what the battery does, but it's fine. It looks cool, it's a very interesting looking game. It's on all the major platforms, I believe. It's on the Switch, on PS4 and Xbox. Press plus and A to do the super jump. Oh, okay, so you can also do it that way as opposed to just B. Does this guy want to fight? Yes, I guess he does. And he drops ice cream, beautiful. So yeah, it's side-scrolling, like, combat, jumping, flipping, all that sort of stuff. Press down and A to jump down a platform. See, that's quite a regular mechanic these days, isn't it? Now, these guys are pretty easy to take out, and they all look the same. I wonder if uh, it hurts if we landed them. Press right trigger to perform a special attack. Press left trigger to use your skill. Okay, so let's have a look here. Take the coconuts down. Ah, there's a different enemy. She's throwing stuff. I didn't use the special attack there, because it was easy just to knock her out like that. But oh, what's this do? Special attacks and strikes cost stamina. If you lose all the stamina, you'll get exhausted. Ah, oh, cool, so we can throw. And our skill? What does our skill do? Oh wow, we're like a flaming angry mass. That's fine, we'll wait for this water to kick back up and we'll jump over. Get out of here. Cavemen can't swim. Oh, alright, that's good to know. But we can walk on water it seems. There we go. So if everything's one hit, I wonder when we'll have to use the special attacks. Get up there. It looks cool. It's really interesting looking. Oh, fuck me. Get out of here. Right, she got me good there, didn't she? I'm guessing all that food restores health. I think it does. I haven't really looked yet. And what's this? Oh, I like smashing the coconuts. <laughs> and it's interesting to see what comes out, because it's definitely not um in line with the time period, is it? <laughs> I could use my spear to climb that wall. Oh, so we have to swap characters. This is where, I suppose, the trine element comes in. Okay, so let's go back here. Oh, nice, we do it like that. Right, so we need to do it higher. There we go, this is cool. Nice, we'll jump over there. That must be a checkpoint, I imagine. Hey, you get out of here. I suppose we could throw it at her, couldn't we? Oh, nice. That was very satisfying, I must admit. Maybe we should have played it as this lady, not that loser Jack. Jump over. That's a big coconut. Worth it though for all the ice cream. Oh shit, oh shit. Shit, she can't swim. Oh, that's some expert dodging there. This is going well. It is quite fun. I imagine this would be really fun on the Switch, I've got to admit. Nice portable handheld game. That went very high. I, I want to know why. 
Oh, so we've got to time it. Okay. He doesn't stay down there for long. Now? Shit. That's okay. No, that's not okay. Nothing hidden, though. Right, let's get that health back. <laughs> we took a beat in there. Uh, that should do it right. Nice. Oh, what is that? That is horrible. Let's try this uh, drum guy. Oh, no, he hasn't got much range. Still only one hit, though. That's a bit annoying how everything's one hit. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> Although that's quite different. It reminds me of the uh, Ratchet and Clank disco ball. Quite like to make all these cavemen dance. How does she dance? <laughs> she, she headbanging? Oh, we can jump on enemies as well. Shit. There we go. Alright, let's go back to um, her. She's the best. Oh my god, that's a big old brute. Oh, shit on it. Nice. Okay, so he took more than one hit. That's to be expected. Oh, we're getting, we're getting beat here. <laughs> right, so if you're not careful, you can die pretty easily, I think. So I have to get better, for sure. Oh, I want that. How are we going to get her? Jump on his head. Oh, this should be fairly straightforward, actually. I think we should wait for that water to pop up. Oh, no, it runs out, though. Okay. We made it. We did it. That's fine. Nice. I think she's the best character so far. I wonder if the levels will adapt as to what character suits the situation. So, it, at first glance, I thought this would be rather basic, but there is a lot going on, actually. Oh, crap. I'm going to die. Yeah, it's cutesy. Quite fun. I like how there's that um, teasing of using different characters to overcome different parts of the level. I'm almost sure that we'll have to use different characters in later levels. Ah, oh, we got our first boss here. Seems that way. Look at that. That's horrible looking. Um, Undine, Queen of Thorns. Or Undine? Okay, I reckon... We... Oh, we have to get her in our eye, I reckon. Oh no, what's that? Jesus Christ, it's tough. Get it. Nearly dead already, though. <laughs> but we're going to be dead as well, so we need to watch out for the... Uh, yeah, for that. I'm not sure if we're going to make this. We haven't got a lot of life to take on the Queen of Thorns. Oh, crap. I mean, she could take out Joffrey. We're going to pose no threat. Yeah, I'm so dead. Oh, you got to jump on that. Okay. Definitely dead, though. No, no, no. We dodged that. Better than last time. Yes, that's good. Well, you've got to get both of them though. Nice. Well, we would have to do it one more time, I imagine. We can't really get hit. Oh, why did I say that? Go, go, come on, die. Oh, finally, thank God. That was um, generally tough. I imagine it might have been a bit easier with friends, but maybe the, the boss's life would have been more. Like the health pool would have been greater with four players, who knows. But we did it on our last life. And is that the first level done? I think she's cheering there. <laughs> cool, and there's a hearty laugh at the end there. Three deaths, not good though. So where are we now? It looks like we go all over the place in this game. Uh, eventually to space in the top right there. Okay, death mounting, that doesn't sound too inviting. We should probably go as a different character through this one. I don't think we've played the woman wearing the leopard fur yet. Oh god, there's a pterodactyl in the background there, I think. Wow, okay, I like the look of her. Yeah. Nice. Oh, she shields as well, okay. And what does this do, I wonder? Nothing. Get out of here. And you. <laughs> Decimates everything. This could be the way to go. Alright, not coming back. Oh, you are. Jesus. Alright, let's take that thing out. Um, what can you do? Oh, we have to play as Jack again. I can make my way through those rocks. Like this? Yes, like that. Ah, we're back to this lady. Um, okay, so... Like that, like that, and like that. Beautiful. <laughs> the pterodactyl was reading a book. That was kind of weird. Who am I to argue? See, it's a tricky little game, in a good way. I mean, it, it does pose the threat of getting quite samey and boring, but I think it's... Oh, no, we just awakened an enemy. But I think, so far, it's doing well to uh, keep up, like, the uh, the engagement here. Oh, no! That was bad. No, that was even worse. But, yeah, only second level in, and I don't think I'm going to make it very far on my own. 
I mean, was it a bad idea to um, focus on a like a multiplayer or a co-op game for in the tub? I don't know. I still think I've showed off a fair bit of the game. But I would, I'm would. i really intrigued to see how this plays with more people. Let's try this again. I don't know if it's going to go well. Okay, we're still alive. Can we get that battery? Oh, come on. That must have been very close. I think we can get it. Yes, we can. Alright, let's get up here. Be careful we don't die. Um, okay. We might die. Especially if that... Yeah. No, what happened there? I mean, unfortunately, the deaths feel pretty fair as well. I think it's due to my own ineptitude so far. I'm not really uh, dodging correctly. <laughs> or hitting enemies in time. Oh, that's better. We can make it this time, I think. Maybe. I've really had to do better here. I don't know what that is. Oh, no. Come on, take it out. Finally, we've got further than before. I think we have to do a long jump. There we go, our first checkpoint. God, this is a tough level. <laughs> it's a tough game. It really is. It's way tougher than sort of like the cute cartoon graphics would make you think at first. But we're making it through. Got our lives back thanks to the uh, checkpoint. So you get three lives in between checkpoints. But we'll keep on moving forward. I like the level design. I like how it's uh, vastly different to the one we just played. And I think I've just done an up attack there. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to die here. Oh, we didn't die. Brilliant. That is a horrible looking plant. Please don't kill me. Oh, thank God. Barely hanging on here. Could be very risky. We need a bit of food to come out of this egg. That's not food. But that was... Oh, crap. I reckon we could jump on her head. Yes. Oh, we're getting our health back. Why did I say that? Why did I even bother to say that? Oh, we've made it a bit further. We've got one life left, though. It's these plants that are doing me in. Oh, and I suppose the whole environment. I suppose the question I should ask when I'm playing like a co-op game on my own, when it's intended for obviously more than just me, is do I feel like I'm missing out on any part of the game? And I think it works quite well as a single player game. Obviously, there's that whole different level of it you would get from playing with people. But I mean, it does quite well in the sense it can also play sort of games like Try and Metal Slug on your own without having to have your friends there. And it's still an enjoyable experience. That's what I'm finding so far. It's a tough experience. But we are making it through. Take you out. What happens if we just walk over these eggs? I don't really want to hash them, to be honest with you. Don't know what will come out. It's going to be a boss time again, do you reckon? Yeah, that looks like a boss to me. <laughs> I mean, while they're rather simple in design, I, I like the look of them. Lodrak, the king of the skies. What, has he met the queen of the skies? Whoever this person's name is. Oh, God, he's blowing me away. I wonder what we have to do here. Right, I wonder if he'll uh, hit the ground now that he's done his weird flapping thing. Well, we got a bit of damage on him there, but it was not a lot. Right, so it seems we just have to dodge his swoops. But he's so big that... Seems really impossible. I've got to come and flap again. There we go. Right, so you just got to dodge and then he flies into the wall like a real flying sack. But obviously we just hurt ourselves there, so who's the real idiot? Oh, it's going to be tough. All right, he's going to come swooping down now. Got to get some hits on him. That'll do. Get out of here, Lodrak. All we need to do is make it through this phase. Oh, crap, why did I say that? Oh, he's back. I think we've done it. Yes. Get out of here, Lodrak, you sack. You're a king no more. Make way for the queen. <laughs> Look at all this food he's given us. We'll take it. Brilliant. I want him extra points. Is he done for? Okay, I think he's had enough. <laughs> Brilliant! How did we do that time? Mortal jumps over in 50. Not quite sure how the points allocated there, but we died seven times. That's appalling. And where does the next area lead? Like a highway. Fury on the road. Right, so what's going on now? Oh, we're flying. Are we flying the king? He's changed his tune. <laughs> but he just got zapped regardless. Okay. This looks fun. They're like, they're like motorbike dinos. Oh man, we've got to give this a go, if this is the, the case. This really is like Metal Slug now. <laughs> so we'll be jumping in vehicles and stuff. Press Y to ride or dismount the Triceratops. Hell yes. Um, okay, so how do we get it going? Press right trigger to accelerate and left trigger to brake. Let's try. Okay, fine. Off we go. Oh! Are they bad? Press A to make the Triceratops jump. Kind of missed that, didn't we? <laughs> Yeah, press X to shoot. Shooting costs stamina. Alright, we'll shoot all of these stuff. 
I'm quite sure what we have to jump over. I'm not seeing it in time. But... Look at these guys. <laughs> this is fun, but they're, they're gaining relatively quickly. Oh, it shows on the screen when there's an obstacle coming up. It's almost like Mad Max, but with dinosaurs. Prehistoric Mad Max. Which is not a bad thing by any means. It's nice to see there's a little bit of variety. Although I'm missing every single jump, which is paining me to no end. Nice, we're taking these fools out easily. Just a bunch of sex. So what if one's riding a T-Rex? <laughs> Was that a prehistoric bus stop there? Just typical. You wait for one and about 15 come at once. Here it is, I think, boss time. And who is that dude? He's got a shotgun. Jesus. Uh, Cavenator, the Raging Rider. Oh, okay, now I understand why his design is like that. Did we just jump into the missile? I think we did. Get back, Cavenator. Oh, why didn't you jump in time? How do we even stop stuff like that? Need some health, really. Jump! <laughs> the jump is very delayed in this Triceratops. No, that still wasn't good enough, was it? Get back. I think we're going to die before the uh, Cavenator, unfortunately. <gasps> we finally dodged something, though. That's good. Do you reckon we're meant to, like, slow down? I mean, if you think for a second we look even remotely like John Connors, you need to get your eyes tested. Oh, crap. Maybe we shouldn't give him too much stick. We are nearly dead. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh god. Take a nap, dude. Jump on him. Hasta la vista, Cavenator. Brilliant, that's a third boss done. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is. Oh no, what has she seen? <gasps> has he been taken by a UFO? Are we about to be taken by a UFO? Doesn't look like it. Battery Man. Mr. Deadbeat. Cool. And that's the third level done. I hope there's more than just these five here. Because then it would be sort of a, a little bit too short for my liking. <laughs> I've only been playing this for about half hour or so. We've got through. So what's going on here? Oh, we've been ambushed. Right, well, as you may have guessed, we're running a bit short on time. So I'm not going to push too much further in this game. But I'll admit, I've had a, a good time with Caveman Warriors. And I would say, if it is only these four levels, I would be a little bit suspicious of paying sort of £10.99 for it. Because I could easily be done within an hour here. So I'm not sure if it's quite worth full price. Or even sale price to be honest. But who knows. I mean I haven't ventured far enough to know that. Of course you could get plenty more enjoyment out of time with friends. But I, I mean that's something I also haven't been able to test. So maybe I've just done a terrible job here. Who knows. But if you liked this episode of In The Tub With. Please go ahead and leave a like. It helps out a great deal. And I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more. We do In The Tubs With every Monday. As well as Let's Plays every other day. And we live stream twice a week. So there's plenty here for you. Please go ahead and subscribe and I'll bring that to you. If you've got any questions you want to raise, have you played Caveman Warriors yourself? What do you think? Have you played it with friends, more importantly? Let me know below, and I'll make sure I get back to you. Alright, see you!